Hello everyone, it's the Disc here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, www.gbhbl.com and here with a review of Chubby Hurdles, which is available on mobile. So Chubby Hurdles is a very simple free-to-play game where you basically control a chubby kid, well fat kid, and try and leap over hurdles. It's very difficult to actually play because of how precise you need to be. And this has been created by Scott Cawthorn. The name might ring a bell if you uh, know, know your gaming because Scott uh, made a lot of crap games back in the day before finding huge success with the well-known Five Nights at Freddy's. So as you can see, it's basically this. It's as simple as that. You have three jumps, you tap the screen to get over the hurdles, three hurdles in each day, and get the donut. The next level continues as such. That's all it is, very basic gameplay. Uh, the problem comes with just how precise you need to be. Uh, you jump too soon, you will not make it over the hurdle. You jump too late, you'll hit the hurdle. It's That's the only way you can go wrong. It requires precise timing and waiting to the last second to hit your jump. And your only reward for this is the donut at the end and the high score. A high score adds up very strangely. It starts off doing it in hundreds and then starts jumping in, in amounts. So there's not really a sense of actually getting anywhere when the score jumps in such a way. And day three is basically where I've not been able to get past. It's incredibly difficult. The child is jumping even slower. Um, his jumps don't really seem to be making it over the hurdles. I mean, you can see there, practically touching them. It takes such a precise. Just made the first, but there you go. Score 1,000. How on earth did it come to that? Jump too soon here, so I'm going to hit that second hurdle. Land on it, basically. And this is all your gameplay is. Oh, made that jump, actually. It's... So it's it's five minutes of fun. It's exactly what you expect with a free-to-play game. It's got no ads, um, no in-app purchases, so there's absolutely no reason not to try it out anyway. And considering the success the creator would have, Scott Cawthorn, um, hey, you got to get it wrong first before you eventually get it right, right? If you enjoyed what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and look out for more reviews in the future.